Hey everyone, welcome back. So today we have uh, an HP um, HP model four one zero four three CL, whatever that one means. So we got an HP NV um, laptop and. It has a bad jack, and we can tell it has a bad jack by when we plug in the charger. Once I find the charger, so I plug in the charger. Let's see if I get you a look. I got no light, but if we wiggle it, should yeah, see. You have to get it just in the right place. So yeah, that jack is most likely busted, and we are going to take this thing apart and replace that jack. So I'm going to remove all the screws, but I just want to point out that there are a couple screws missing, and I believe this screw right here is actually um, underneath this case, so this thing has clearly been taken apart before. It does say refurbished, so this could have happened then, it could have happened after the fact, but I'm just going to replace all the, or remove all the screws that I see, and then we'll continue taking it apart. Okay, so I have all the screws out that we can get out. Actually, it looks like the screw over here, too, might be under the case. So I'm just going to get a spudger and throw it in under one of the seams. I don't think that there are any screws under the plastic or under the rubber feet, but if we get resistance, we'll, we'll check that out. And now this looks like it's going to... Yeah, I mean, this is just popping right up. This has been definitely been apart before. Yeah. So that came apart easy. And let's see. Okay. So the jack's over here. And. Jeez, the fan's not even screwed in by anything. So we can just <laughs> flop that all over. Uh, let's see if we get a little closer look at this area. Okay, so yeah, this thing's definitely been taken apart before. The fan wasn't even screwed in. And then this piece looks like that we just can probably pry this up. and get this jack out. That's it. And yeah, this is... It is loose. It does seem a little looser than it needs to be. But all right. We have a replacement one. So let's, I feel like this is probably something I'm supposed to keep that out so we can slip this right in there. Like, 
curious. Let's see if this comes off. metal shroud that was just there. Oh, yeah. This thing is supposed to go. This is supposed to go like that and it looks like under the speaker there are there's a screw missing. So Alright so put this in the shroud like that and we will Well, it might be easier to just slide this in. Okay. So we need to maybe find a screw. Could be why the old one broke, just because there was really nothing reinforcing it. Need to find a tiny screw tiny screw for that. So, let me find my little thing of screws. Let's see if we have something that might work. Let's see if these work. Right length, but not thick enough. That screw is good, and then if we get the other one, it should keep this thing pretty good. All right, so now we gotta put this board back. Oh, maybe that is that how it's supposed to go? Yeah, looks like it. All right, so. See if this still works now with this. It's the joys of taking apart something that's already been taken apart before. You have to kind of do a little bit of detective work. Otherwise, this would be very simple DC jack replacement. I mean, so far it's still pretty simple. Okay. Speakers back. this up a little bit and run the wire underneath. And of course this one's just a little bit <laughs> longer than the other one. Yeah. 
just a tad, so we're going to have a little excess wire that we're going to have to try and play around with. Sorry if uh, I probably should have zoomed out, but all right. Let me f see if the t the screw I found before if it will work to hold this fan down. Oh, that's too big. this fan properly. Okay, that one's good. That one is good. Alright, fan is nice and good. So now we can put the bottom back. Zoom out a little bit. Get the charger. Wherever that fell down to. Okay. Move it around. Okay. Looks like it's working. So we're going to screw everything back together, turn it on, and see if it's charging. Now we'll probably uh, try and find some replacement screws. Oh, you know what? Let's look at the screws that were underneath the case that looks like they didn't belong there. I believe it was this top one. Yeah, this one. Okay, so this thing is plugged in. Uh, apparently they have a messed up screen. There's a bunch of lines there. Could be the cable, could be the screen. We'll have to maybe take a look at that and make sure they're aware of that. But for this purpose, if you can see, the charger is now charging. Battery's completely dead. It says plugged in charging. If we wiggle it, laptop's not turning off. So that's good. So there you have it. It's a quick, uh, easy way to place the DC jack in one of these HP NV laptops. Uh, if you have any questions, comment below, please. Uh, if you like this video, like. Be sure to subscribe if you like our content. We're trying to you know, do as much as we can. Uh, but as always, thanks for checking out this video, and we hope to see you soon.